So today we have a review of last month's boxy charm and we opening this month's boxy charm. So let's get right into it. <laughs> BoxyCharm is a subscription box you get once a month, and it's $21, that's shipping, tax included, all that, and you get five, five full-size products to try out. They don't really customize it for each person. They usually send a universal color or universal whatever, so... So last month I got, we got this Pretty Vulgar blush in Prim Vixen. I very much enjoyed this blush. It looks like it would go on crazy like pigmented, but it doesn't. It goes in nice and soft and you can build it up if you want more pigment. And the color is beautiful. It's a very fun, beautiful color. I'm very happy that we got this. I love it. I think the packaging is cute. Yeah, it's plastic, but it's cute. It's a little gold. Looks fancy. I don't know. It's cute. And then we got this eyeshadow palette from Pure. The BoxyCharm Pure collab. I really enjoyed this palette, too. I tried using that top row of the peaches and stuff and they all kind of blended together and that really didn't do anything but this blue and that pink all the ones on the bottom row the blue the pink the black and the brown and that gold was pretty those were all very pigmented and very bright and they blended really easy and this palette has been fun to work with I like it and then we also got oh yeah, yeah. this trio of brushes from Vintage, the Vintage Cosmetic Company. Now these two, this one, I wish it was fluffier and not as dense for like a blending brush. I mean, it's okay. It gets it, it packs it in there, but it doesn't blend it out very easily. And these, I know these are for like the outer corner, but I don't really like these angled shadow brushes. They're okay, but, and they're really soft, but, yeah, it wasn't a huge, like I use them, but they're just not my favorites. But this one was great. I like the way it put the shadow under my eyes very much. This was a good one. So overall, I was happy with the brushes. I'm always happy with brushes, so, and then, and then we got the Double Decker Lashes from Butter London, and I did a whole review on these for my Mascara Mondays, so I'll link that video below, and I liked it, it was okay, the brush was kind of weird, and it's kind of, it was a really wet formula, but I didn't hate it, so. If you know all my thoughts on this, because I haven't used it in a while, I'll look at that video and then you'll see it. So, oh, and then we also got under eye, uh, the under eye patches things to like get rid of redness and bags under your eyes. I don't really have a use for those, so I pass them along to my friend Jacob. I'll link his channel below, because he... Always complains about his bags under his eyes and all that. So I sent them off to him and he said that he loved them a lot and that they were really good. And he was probably going to get more. So that's those. Okay, now on to this month's Boxy Charm. It's kind of hard to miss spoilers because I follow them on Instagram and I don't really care that I'm missing spoil like that I miss spoilers or whatever. That's not a big deal to me. So I know you get one of four or five ColourPop palettes, and I have two of the ones they were offering: the Golden State of Mind and the My Little Pony one. So if I get either of those, I'm gonna pass it on to my friend Becca. 
I'm kind of hoping I get the color of surprise or surprise, whatever that one is, the purple one. So let's open this up. Let's see. This one's theme is eye candy. It's really cute. I like the pink icing and cute little postcard thingy. Let's see. The first thing we got is the Tart Tartist Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. Let's see. This is in the shade Sparkler. I personally am not spending my own money to go out and buy specific tart things. But if it comes in one of these boxes and stuff, there's nothing I can do about it. And I'm going to use it up. But I don't know. This would be better on my eyes. It's kind of dark for a highlighter for me. It's down there at the bottom. It's okay. I'm okay with this one. I'll see what kind of stuff I can do with it. This seems, yeah, kind of dark. So we'll see. This one is from a Des or a Desi New York High Definition Liquid Lipstick. I pre opened the box, but I didn't pre open the boxes inside. I don't want to look at my stuff I got. Ooh, that's really pretty. I have a like a kink in my neck, so when you see me moving it, I'm like, it's because it hurts just to bend my neck. So, I love it when liquid lipsticks smell like cake and cake batter and that kind of stuff. I like this. This seems like a color I get a lot. I think I have like two other colors like this, but I like it. It's very universal and it'll look pretty. This was one of the things I was excited to get was the Dr. Brand Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner Pore Purifying Mask. So this one seems like it'd be fun. I like masks and I'm always worried that my pores are too big or they're filled with dirt and Anything that talks about making your pores better, cleaner, smaller, whatever, I'm happy about. The palette I got was the Golden State of Mine, which is sad because I already have this one. So this one will be passed along to my friend Becca. So that sucks. It doesn't suck, but it sucks. And then the last thing in the box is the Brow Gal, uh, the Instant Brow Hair Tinted Brow Gel with Microfibers. And my current clear brow gel is pretty much gone, so this will be fun to try out and see how it works. Let's open it and look at it. It's in the color it doesn't say. Let's see if it's on the box. Oh, there was no box. Um oh brown. Brown hair. I guess that's just the most universal color they could get. Well, that would work for me. It's a itty tiny little mascara one. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that little bitty. Little bitty mascara wand. That'd be cool to see how it goes through your brows. and So, let's see. The prices on everything. See this, the Tardis Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter is $29. So 
So, not disappointed the color I got because it's not really my color, but I can find a way to use it. The palette is $26. This, the Pour No More Vacuum Cleaner Pore Refining Mask is $47. So this alone is worth the $21. But this right here, the Pores Vacuum Cleaner thing is $47. And that to me is worth the box price anyways. So that's cool. And then the Brow Gel is $22 and the lipstick is $24 so the total value of this box is Is 148, I think, if I did that correctly in my head. I don't know. So, I'll add it up on a calculator. I'll let you know. So. So, that's what I got in this month's Boxy Charm. Do you get Boxy Charm? Are you thinking about it? And if you would like to sign up for it, you can sign. I have a link down below. I don't know if you get points or you get, I don't know what you do. So if you can, you click, if you want to, you can click that. If not, just go to the website, sign up. I like it. This is the third month I've gotten it. And I like it so far. I've liked everything I got this month, last month, and the month before. So I'll link the playlist of all the BoxyCharm boxes that I've gotten. Thanks for watching.